Have you ever looked around and wondered what really separates a junior developer from a senior one? I'll give you a hint. It's not just about years of experience or knowing the latest, fanciest framework. Nope, it's a fundamental shift in how you think and how you work. Today, we're going to break down the five powerful habits that turn you from someone who just writes code into a genuine, elite-level problem solver. Okay, let's just get right to the core of it. This slide says it all, really. On the surface, yeah, they both write code. But the real difference? A junior dev's job is to take a task and implement it. Write the code. A senior dev's job is to solve the actual business problem. And you know what? Writing code is just one of the tools in their toolbox to get that done. This single idea is the foundation for absolutely everything else we're going to talk about. So that leads to the big question, right? If it's not just about slinging code, then what is it? How do you actually make that jump from being a task taker to a true problem solver? Well, the answer is all in the habits you build, day in and day out. And that's the absolute key. Seniority isn't some title that gets handed to you after you've been at a company for three or four years. It's a mindset. It's something you earn through practice. It's about adopting a very specific set of habits that completely rewire how you approach your job. So let's break them down. All right, first up, this is probably the biggest mental leap you have to make. Habit number one, learn to see the entire system, not just the one little feature you're working on today. It's about putting down the magnifying glass and picking up the blueprint for the entire building. And this right here, this just nails the difference in perspective. A junior developer is thinking, okay, how do I make this button work? Their focus is on the immediate task. A senior developer though, they instantly zoom out. They're asking, how does this button interact with everything else? What API does it call? What other part of the app is listening for this click? And most importantly, what's gonna break if this thing fails? This is what that big picture thinking looks like in the real world. You're constantly thinking about how data is moving through the app. You're mapping out this invisible web of dependencies, figuring out how all the pieces connect. And you're always, always thinking about the ripple effects, how one tiny change over here could cause a huge problem way over there. This kind of foresight is what prevents bugs before they're even written. And this quote, man, this says it all. A junior developer fixes a bug. A senior developer asks why that bug was even possible. They see every bug not just as a problem to be fixed, but as a symptom of a deeper issue, a code smell that's telling them something about the system's design. It's this proactive, diagnostic approach that builds software that doesn't fall over when you breathe on it. Okay, on to habit number two. This one is all about leverage. It's about being efficient. See, senior developers have this like allergic reaction to doing the same boring manual thing over and over again. They know that humans make mistakes, so they try to get the human out of the loop whenever they possibly can. Here's a perfect example, right? Running your tests by hand is slow, it's boring, and you're probably gonna forget a step one day. But setting up a GitHub action to do it for you automatically every single time you push code, that's a one-time investment that pays you back forever. Seniors are always looking for ways to invest a little time now to save a ton of time later. And it's the exact same idea when it comes to debugging. Playing the guessing game, just randomly changing things, hoping something works, that's a total junior move. A senior developer thinks ahead. They build their code with good, structured logs from the very beginning. So when something inevitably breaks, they're not guessing, they're just reading the story of exactly what went wrong. Seriously, burn this into your brain. This should be your new mantra. It doesn't matter if it's deploying your code, setting up a new project, whatever. If you find yourself doing the exact same manual steps for a second time, just stop. That is your cue. That's a signal from the universe telling you to write a script. Okay, let's talk about the next two habits together because they're two sides of the same coin. A lot of people dismiss these as soft skills, but trust me, their impact is rock solid. We're talking about mastering communication and owning the outcome. This is how you go from being just another coder to being a leader on your team. Just look at this. A message like, the API is broken. What does that even mean? It's useless. It creates more work for everyone else. But saying, hey, the API is returning a 500 error when I do this, and here's the log file to prove it, that's empowering. That lets your team jump in and help immediately. Clear communication isn't just a nice to have. It's a force multiplier for your entire team. And that leads right into ownership. This is all about attitude. The junior mindset is, hey, my ticket is done, I wrote the code, I'm out. The senior mindset, it's about being accountable for the final result. It doesn't matter if your little piece of the puzzle is done, if the whole feature is broken for the user. 
Ownership means you stick with it until it's actually working, until it's across the finish line. Okay, let's get to the final habit. And honestly, this might be the most important one of all. This is the engine that drives everything else. It's the commitment to never, ever stop growing. You know, in the world of technology, if you're standing still, you're actually falling behind. Things change way too fast. Continuous learning isn't some chore you have to do. It's a survival skill. The most valuable developers I know are just as curious and hungry to learn 10 years into their careers as they were on day one. But here's the thing. Learning isn't just about reading blog posts or watching tutorials. It's about reflecting on what you've actually done. This simple little process right here is how you turn your mistakes into actual wisdom. After a tough project, don't just rush on to the next thing. Stop. Take five minutes and ask these three questions. This is how you make sure you don't make the same mistake twice. So let's do a quick recap. The five habits that will make you a senior dev. One, think in systems, not just features. Two, automate all the boring, repetitive stuff. Three, become a master of clear communication. Four, own the outcome, not just the task. And five, the one that feels all the others, always be learning and reflecting. That's it. Those are the pillars. You know, the most powerful thing about all of this is that you don't need anyone's permission to start. You don't need a promotion. You don't need a new title. You can start practicing this mindset on the very next thing you do your next task, your next meeting, your next pull request. It is a choice you get to make every single day. So it all comes down to this. What are you gonna do now? Look at that list one more time and just pick one. Seriously, just one habit that you are going to consciously focus on starting this week. Which one's it gonna be?